Hello there! No, you didn't pick on the wrong video. This is still uh, the Blue Rescue Team uh, annotated uh, playthrough. I just thought I'd uh, try using my voice and seeing how that goes. I'm just, uh, I'll still be uh, writing an annotated equivalent, but I thought I'd give this an extra try from here on out. Good morning, Evan. Let's keep on doing good. Actually, I want to ask you something. What do you think about what Zatu said yesterday? Does it bother you? No, it does not. Huh? It doesn't concern you? Evan, don't joke around, it's not funny. The whole world might be destroyed. And how you became a Pokemon, Evan, that's all supposed to be related! Oh, I get it. I wasn't thinking, you should be more worried than I am, Evan. You're in the middle of this, of course you're worried. I'm sorry, Evan, I should have realized. Zatu said that the world will be ruined if nothing is done. I want to do something, but there's something I don't understand. So, the world's balance, what is it? Evan, do you know what the world's balance is? Nope. Okay. I guess so, you wouldn't know. I can't imagine what the world's balance is about. To be honest, I don't know what we should do. I guess we'll just have to do what we can. One thing at a time. So, we could go to Pokemon Square and sort of continue the story, but first... Just uh, doing this quickly. We're going to change things up a bit. Alternate history here. Um, I'll say yes it does. Yeah, I guess you would be concerned too, Evan. There's supposed to be a link between the world's balance being upset and how you became a Pokemon. And because of the world's upset balance, natural disasters have been occurring. And more than anything, he said the world will be ruined if the balance isn't restored. I want to do something, but there's something I don't understand. So, the world's balance, what is it? Evan, do you know what the world's balance is? Oh, really? Evan, you know? Please tell me, what's the world's balance? Um. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm not cutting that up. <laughs> and, and editing it in, I'm, that's. Sheesh, that is so lame. But you were fine with me not knowing earlier. Don't joke around like that. I'm joking? You said earlier I didn't know what it was in the other timeline. Or blast, stop reading for some reason one thing at a time. We load this again. Yeah, the game does a couple of these in uh throughout the story. Not the not the easiest thing to edit in the world. In space. Like where the stars and the moon are? That space? Hmm, I'm getting even more confused. Okay, so where exactly in space is the world's balance? If you go, you'll see. Huh? Go out to space? And how do we get out to the space? I'm gonna say, um, my real answer is flying, because that's the obvious answer, but let's try on guts. What are you saying, guts? If that's all it took, none of this would be necessary. <laughs> What, you think we have guts? You're, you're getting a bit ahead of yourself there. You're getting a bit arrogant there, Charmander. That's uh, not what I'd call informed. So you don't know either, Evan? Can't know what those balance is about. To be honest, I don't know what we should do. I guess we should just have to do what we can. One at a time. Oh crap, did I just load the, the state? Oh well. Too bad. Yeah, I guess too bad for me, actually, because I went back and uh, edited it to see. Go to space. And how are we supposed to go out to space? Uh, fly there. I can't fly. Oh, your, your evolved form can. I mean, not good enough. Oh, Pelipper. Just what we need. You see, we're wondering if you could carry us to space. You're, you're not serious, are you, dude? No way, not a chance. And, uh, if you check the mailbox, of course, guess what? No mail. <laughs> or no new mail, rather. What's wrong with you saying all these ridiculous things? I wish you'd be more considerate before making jokes. So you don't know either, Evan. And then... At least I don't, uh, fake stomach aches to get out of exploring, uh, you know, rescue missions. Explore exploration teams are in the next game. Welcome to the Kecleon shop. 
Now, we could buy and sell stuff and even, you know, go out to the, uh, you know, uh, go to a dungeon and take a job if we wanted, but there is a story thing to do today. And I'll try to keep the buttons away from the microphone, if I can, because Wii U's got kind of loud. The Wii U gamepad's kind of loud, and it's the only controller you're allowed to use. What are they chatting about? Hold on. Yeah, I'm kind of shocked. I always thought it was only a legend. But could it be true? I'm having a hard time believing it. Hey, what's happening? Well, you know the Ninetales legend? The old story? The Ninetales legend? What's that? What, you don't know? You know it's that old fairy tale. How you'll get cursed if you ever grab one of Ninetales' tails. You also didn't need that extra apostrophe S there in Nine Tails. It was rumored that maybe it's really happened. Well, it's still a mere rumor. I wouldn't put too much stock in that story if I were you. Personally, I don't believe in rumors of that sort. If you want to know more about the Nine Tails legend, you should go see a Pokemon named Whiskash. He knows the story well. Is, uh, you know, in his pond. You should visit him if you want to know more. Anywho. Oh, sorry, they still have stuff to stay. I shouldn't be going away yet. I always thought it was only a legend. So primarily, I'm intending this to be, uh, you know, just cutscenes. Because a lot of people like the story, of course. Um, it doesn't, it may not seem that, uh, you know, much just yet. But there's actually a pretty uh, decent story uh, eventually in the game. And especially the later games, too. Actually, I think the uh, the shopkeepers have stuff to stay as well. And I should... I'm focusing on the wrong screen there, so that's why I keep missing everything. Anyway, let's hope the... Uh... What do these guys have to say? Whiskush told us folklore from long ago. It was fun. That folklore was fun and interesting. Whiskash is very wise. Oh, crap. If that... I, I've been looking at uh, the delayed screen, um, so if, if, if that uh, text, if my voice was completely off that text, that's why. Anyway, up here. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, you wish to hear me tell old folklore? What was that? You wish to hear the Ninetales legend? Nope. I see. If you have a the urge to hear my tale, come see me anytime. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. Uh ho. -oh. Fine then, let me recount the tale. There once lived a Pokemon by the name of Ninetales, and now Ninetales had many tales, all of them imbued with a psychic power. It was said that anyone so foolish as to touch a tale would be cursed for a thousand years. But there was someone as fo uh, so foolish as to grab a tail, and it was a human. A human? Yeah, a human. As you might expect, the human that grabbed the tail was subjected to a thousand year curse. However, just when the curse was cast, a Pokemon named Gardevoir shielded the human and sacrificed herself to absorb the curse. Why? Why would that Pokemon Gardevoir take the human's place? To Gardevoir, that human was her partner. There exist strong bonds between humans and Pokemon. Okay. But humans, aren't there good humans and bad ones too? What does that have to do with anything, Charmander? Correct. Taking pity on Gardevoir, Ninetales asked the human this. Do you wish to save Gardevoir? It asked. But the human had already abandoned Gardevoir and fled. So, so like, she didn't look before talking to him? Okay, weird, awkward scene, but Ninetales became disillusioned with the human. And it made this prediction. That human will one day be reborn as a Pokemon. Oh, yeesh. You know what that means, don't you? And when the pu human became... Bleh, when the human becomes a Pokemon, the world's balance will be upset. And that's how the legend ends. So it's actually her fault, then, and not the human's fault that the, that the whole world is doomed, apparently. But, you know, they're gonna blame the human. Aha! Uh -huh. You found it so interesting, you're at a loss for words. <laughs> There's no need to wear such a serious expression. Certainly, some rumors say that legend may actually be true, but it was only ancient folklore, nothing more. That's the moral of the story, kiddies. 
Don't listen to old folklore, you'll be sad. Anyway, I think Charmander asks not to uh, go on rescue mission if you try. Yep, see. I want to call it a day now, I can't seem to get motivated today. Give me the options and I'll say no. I'm gonna force you to tough it out the rest of the day. Sorry for wanting to go home before we're done. But I just can't seem to get motivated. I guess it's because I heard that story. <laughs> I'll go home and try to get some sleep. See you tomorrow. Ah, sorry! I started doubting you a little, Evan. But I'm not going to worry anymore. I believe in you, Evan. Because you're a friend like no other, Evan. You're a friend. Like I've ne I never get again. Okay, Evan, it's our best tomorrow, like always. So you didn't just get your motivation back then, if you're still going home for the day. Not pictured several other days in the past where he felt unmotivated and decided not to go. Again. It's that dream again. Oh, I see the silhouette. Who could it be? Oh, saying something. But I can't quite make it out. It's clearer than it was before, but I'll try talking to it. Hello, please tell me. You. Who are you? I am... I am Gardevoir. Gardevoir? So glad, finally. Finally got to meet you. Finally met me? You knew me from before. What about me? She didn't say you. she knew you from before. I am your... Oh, wait! Just a little longer! I want to know more. No, it's fainting. Hey, next morning. What a strange dream. It's the dream I've always have, but it was clearer than it was before. I think I finally learned who that Pokemon was. You think? She said her name. That's it. Gardevoir. Oh, to be fair, yeah, when you have a dream, you don't always remember. It was Gardevoir. I should know that. I tried to lose a dream before. Yesterday, Whiskash said. To very little success, by the way. Yes, a human. As one might expect, the human that grabbed the tail was subjected to a curse of a thousand years. However, just when the curse was cast, a Pokemon named Gardevoir shielded the human and sacrificed herself to absorb the curse. That's one sentence, Whiskash. You don't capitalize the and there. Why? Why would that Pokemon Gardevoir take the human's place? To Gardevoir, that human was her partner. There exists strong bonds between humans and Pokemon. Maybe... Maybe I... Maybe I was the human who was Gardevoir's partner. Maybe I was the one that abandoned Gardevoir when she was cursed. Maybe that's why I turned into a Pokemon. I thought that was kind of the unspoken, you know, thing we're supposed to assume there. Anyway, sorry if you can hear the buttons press. I can't... My... It, it would take a while to explain. Anyway, oh, you look pale. Is something the matter? Well, anyway, as always, let's try to do our best. Oh, yeah! Whether When I was on the way here, I think there was a commotion at Pokemon Square. I wonder if something happened. Hmm? The town's atmosphere feels different somehow. Maybe something's happened. Evan, let's check it out. Look, why why is everyone gathered together? Hey, what's going on? Let me tell you, I was amazed. It really was true. Huh? What was true? The Nine Tails legend. I I never believed the rumors, so you bet I was shocked to learn the truth. Evan, Charmander. Oh, hey, Caterpie. <laughs> Evan, you came out, uh, ugh, even you came out, Caterpie. Yes. Shh, quiet. That guy there's telling us. Keep it down. Huh? Who's talking? It, it's... G Gengar? So I went up to the Hill of the Ancients, and that's where I saw it. It was shocking stuff, I tell you. <laughs> Shocking stuff. 
that certain Pokemon was getting advice from Zatu. That Pokemon. It looks like an ordinary Pokemon. So you're saying you don't believe in rumors, but you're going to believe this guy's hearsay, won't you, Bellsprout? But get this! It was originally a human! What? It really existed. A human that turned into a Pokemon! There's more. Zatu told the human that how the human became a Pokemon has a lot to do with how the world's balance is upset. Wait a second. It's exactly like the Ninetales legend. <laughs> Don't be too shocked yet. There's more. You all know that there's been many natural disasters lately, correct? According to Zatu, those disasters are caused by the world's balance being upset. And if the world's balance isn't restored soon, the unthinkable will happen to the world! That's what Zatu said! <laughs> what? what? The world. The unthinkable is going to happen. Oh no, not the unthinkable. What are we to do? That Gengar. He's deliberately working everyone up. No, no, people. There's no need to panic. Why? I think there's a way we can learn. Or blah. I think there's a way we can do something about this. <laughs> what can we do? Oh, it's quite simple, actually. The world's balance is upset by a human becoming a Pokemon. Then if the human is gone, then everything should turn to normal, correct? Um, where is your left pupil, Gengar? It just kind of left. Th that's true. When you put it that way, maybe you're right. Okay, okay, and that human is the rotten coward that abandoned Gardevoir, correct? I don't think the human can complain about anything if we get rid of it. Isn't that right, Evan? Uh, what? It can't be. Y you, you were that human. Is that true? Hey! Okay, if you're just gonna take his word for it, it could be anybody here, right? Wait, wait, wait. That, this is like, there's a good explanation for it. Well, we're not asking you, we're asking Evan. Hey, Evan, so, well, what is it? Are you really the human that was in the legend? Hold on, I'm just gonna save, cause, you know, I wanna see what happens if you pick the second option. Evan? Evan? <laughs> it looks like there's nothing. You have nothing to say in your defense, Evan. Let's just see what happens if the other one happens. Yeah, same thing. That's how it is, fellow Pokemon. Let's get rid of Evan and regain peace. <laughs> what? what? Uh, everyone, what's gotten into you? What are you gonna trying with? What are you gonna do? Evan, forgive me. What? What are you doing? You are clearly not aiming for me. Wah! Evan, run! Serves them right. <laughs> wow, that was a real shock. Never expected uh, everyone to attack us like that. But listen, Evan. Why didn't you say anything? Why didn't you argue that it's not you? Because it's put on the spot. Like, that's what happens to people. You should uh, have said you're not the human that appears in the legend of Ninetales. Huh? What is it? Okay, this might change. I don't remember anything changing here, but we'll see. What's the matter? Why do you say that all of a sudden? Give up on rescue team? I'm not like it's not like you to say that, Evan. Something the matter? Huh? You had a dream, and Gardevoir appeared in it, and that made you think that maybe you were the human after all. So that's what it is. That's what happened. Listen, Evan. Did your dream make you remember what you were like as a human being? Since it didn't, you don't know what really happened. I, I have faith in you, Evan. You know that? So... Oh, shit. Oh! After that uh, scene in Pokemon Square, we held a town meeting. Pretty quick meeting! <laughs> on what we must do to save the world. And we've arrived at a consensus. We must get rid of you. You're kidding. I was incredulous too. I had hoped it would not come to this, but well, that's unfortunate. We will defeat you with all our might. We're fighting here? We will give you tonight. Huh? Pack your supplies and get out of here. Come tomorrow, rescue teams of all sorts will take up the chase and attack you without hesitation. It's not just you. Anyone that goes with Evan will be considered an enemy. 
the trackers will attack without mercy. That goes for you, for us too. We will join the hunt to get rid of you. Against all odds, you must run. Run, run! Survive. You must run till you discover the truth. There will be no mercy the next time we meet. Farewell. Evan. In their own way, Alexam's team has faith in you too. But not not just in their own way. It sounds like they had complete faith in us if they're they had a consensus to kill us and they're not gonna do it. Not about to worry anymore. Whatever happens, I'll put always a faith in you, Evan. Even if we're attacked by other rescue teams, I won't be uh, scared. What good will it do if you don't believe in yourself, Evan? Evan Caterpie. And I made a promise, remember? That's when we would make a rescue team base here. That I would join your rescue team when I grow up. Yeah, it's just a couple days ago, Caterpie. Evan, don't give up. You're a hero to me, Evan. I believe in you, too. So what do you say, Evan? Um, oh wait, they're the same thing. I'm over it. No giving up. Yeah, that's right. That's more like it. That's what we expect from our Evan. We'll have to leave for the time being. But let's be sure to come back. And we'll bring the truth back with us.